Good morning everybody, welcome back to the Sullivan family. It's cold, but the sun's coming up. It always looks so pretty out here. It's a little bit windy and the wind is freezing. We've got a little bit, we don't really have snow, we just have a little bit of a light dusting of kind of snowy frost. Although the sky over there looks very snowy. Um, so. Um, this is one of those mornings. Um, it's just, you know those mornings where you just actually know what's going on um, and you're doing alright for time and then all of a sudden you're not and then nobody knows how to be fast so you're trying to get people ready and out the door and everyone's just like at a snail's pace and then they can't find their shoes and then they can't find um, any of the other stuff that they need their book bags um, and then they need the toilet once they've already got the coats and hats and gloves and shoes on and you're just like just 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 please leave the house so that we're not late um but we got there we're always on time i'm always panicking that i'm gonna be late i hate being late um but we got there on time uh somebody in yesterday's vlog or somebody in, no not yesterday's the day before's vlog um asked me where i got my hat from i got it from um from Shein. it's got um it's got fluffy on the inside and it came with like a it came with a neck warmer as well but obviously don't need one because this coat is so warm it's all fluffy on the inside and it's really really nice and warm um yeah and i think it was it was like less than 10 pounds um i love sheen but the only thing is you've got to be prepared to wait for stuff it won't come like fast but if you prepare for that then it's fine i ordered some stuff last week i'm still waiting for for uh, one of the twins for their birthday. Anyway, um, plans for today. I think I'm going to try and do one of the bookcases because I haven't had to do it. Um, I just need to get some boys' room, uh, sort some books out. I need to order birthday cards. I always get the kids a moon pig card. I'm renowned for getting moon pig cards and for getting to write them out, but I do always get them. Um, even if I don't get written out, it's like three months later, I do still get them. So I need to order four moon pig cards because obviously we've got the twins' birthdays next week. And then Ben's birthday is two days later, so I need to order his as well. And then Toby's birthday is eight days after that, so I need to go and order a load of moon pig cards um, at some point. I also need to think about balloons for the twins' birthday, what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet. Always funny to Like, um, I like them to have something individual um, and obviously when we just had one set of twins we had to kind of make it individual but then equally then you'd have two sets of the same balloons and two cakes and things like that so it was kind of a bit unnecessary to have so much stuff um, so they'd share a cake and they'd probably just have one set of balloons but then obviously we've now got two sets of twins and we've yet to find a good way of doing cakes for a start we, we've had cupcakes but then we've had individual cupcakes and then we've done other cupcakes as well we've had two separate cakes i think one year we might have had four separate cakes but that was a bit too much cake um so I, i'm yet to find and balloons like noah's balloon i got his, his balloons sometimes i get them um from a lady who does them in Albion. um sometimes i get them on display from her but obviously i've got four of them so do i get two Myself, which you would have seen in vlogs before um, so I think I might get them number I like to get the number balloons but obviously I could get two fifteens and two sevens but then there's a lot of balloons and you know we've only got the allowance in that big so I think I'll just do one fifteen display and one seven display see these are all the things that go through my head but then equally then you want them to have kind of something that's individual to them but we don't really have the space to do all of those balloons so um yeah I'm not entirely sure yet i haven't quite decided what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a balloon display of some sort so i need to have a nice day as well um and first of all i need to go eat my breakfast because i haven't had a chance to do that so that's the first thing i'm gonna do is go eat my breakfast and make a good feed Right, 
so I've had my breakfast, I've made a coffee, I've done the bathroom. So I'm gonna start sorting out in the dining room. So my plans for in, in here, obviously we are moving. So um, I kind of, it's a bit, I've said before about how it's, it's a bit difficult because it's kind of pointless building more stuff to go in here and fitting it in here when we're not gonna be here for much longer. But I've probably said before, this these two units are really, really old and they kind of fall into pieces. So I want to replace it with one of these big units, which are the ones from Argos. Um, but obviously I don't want to do it here, although I, I might buy one and keep it aside. But anyway, when we bought these units over here, so this one here and this one here, they were to replace the plastic drawers we had that the kids, the kids have all got like a, they used to have a drawer each, some of which is still down there waiting to be sorted out. Um, to keep all their bits and pieces in and school stuff and things like that which is but the drawers kept breaking all the time and it was really really annoying which is why we had countless amounts of plastic drawers and they would all break um because they would get heavy and they just weren't strong enough so this is why we bought these units now i bought two because we had drawers in one place here and we had drawers over here but it turns out we don't actually need because um, these boxes are huge so we don't actually need as many so I can actually fit all of the kids stuff into these ones because what happens is they've got one for like home bits and pieces and then they have one when they get to high school for all their high school books and everything but obviously not all of them are at high school Lizzie's left school now so she doesn't really need her stuff's all upstairs Liv is going to be leaving school in a, in you know a year or two going to college the twins will be the same so by the time the little ones need two boxes or the old ones won't need one anymore so my plan is to put all of these boxes to so have all of these here just for the kids stuff and to flow is right waving are you waving you say hi say hi so have a little sleep are you feeling a little bit better Yay. yeah 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 kitty girl so the plan is essentially this one will be spare so what i'm going to do i'm not going to i might not get a chance to do it today because i'm doing the bookcases but the plan is we've replaced over the years we've replaced all of our um old units like these ones which were a lot flimsier with these newer units we've kind of done it in bits over the years when we can afford to um but the girls have still got two units old ones in their room but they kind of want different kind of storage anyway so i've just left them you waving and the boys they've got their big unit which is a newer one but their other unit which is kind of held together with bits of wood um it's an old one so what i'm thinking is we borrow this one down here and just use it for the extra bits that don't fit in there because i've got games and everything that i can put away because i haven't got room and then when we move we get another big unit for over there and this unit will essentially probably go and replace the boys one yeah. although the boys other one is gray and this one's not yeah. but if i don't put them together it maybe won't matter it probably yeah. won't matter to anybody but me the boys won't care so that's kind of what i'm thinking but for now i think we'll just just to make do for now rather than going and replacing the whole unit to use this one i could buy another eight and have two eights but as this kind of is needed somewhere else in the house anyway, that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna at some point move all of those into there um, and use this for the extra bits that don't fit over there. Cause it's kind of not just, this is not just board games and jigsaws. It's kind of got all their learning bits and pieces on as well. So it's got like all their orchard toy games. It's got um, number cubes, um all their magnet uh, magnet magnet tiles things um you know beads lacing beads all those sorts of things on it as well so it's kind of and there's lots of things that don't fit hence why we need a bigger unit so that's the plan um see i, t I talk all these things over with ben and he just kind of goes uh-huh mm -hmm. and then yeah. i say to him do you did you know what i said and he's like no, because you're just rambling but it's good that i can have people to ramble to that kind of get my rambling so i've still got those 
over there as well that's still stuff that needs sorting out um but some of it needs to go in the garage into the boxes that are in the garage but i can't get to the boxes in the garage at the moment because the old wardrobes are still in there because when ben put them all in the car to take them to the tip we couldn't get rid of wood that day so i think we might end up getting another skip but anyway job for today to sort this bookcase it's got lots of stones on it because everyone's decorated their stones and i can't get rid of them look because they're all their decorated stones see i love all my stones we love stones as a family we just love stones stones and shells anyway um so i'm going to time lapse doing this unit and flo's going to help and liv's going to help hey flo Flo, you're looking out the window what you doing what you doing hey what you doing? You can say hi. You got a bit of a cold today. Are you a bit snotty. You got a bit red cheeks. Yeah. 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 I know. Can you say hi? Can you wave? Can you wave, beautiful girl? Can you? This is Flo's favourite toy. She got it for Christmas. Are you touch having a bit of your toy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go. Okay, so we have tidied. We have, I've brought some of the books down from the boys' room and put them away on the shelves, ones that they don't have or read or use or anything anymore. So we've got loads of books like these ones, which the twins and Agnes will be able to go on to next, you know, the early readers. And then we've got obviously ones that like, Eva likes reading and then ones that like Toby likes reading and then we've got more up there of they're all our Christmas ones I've also um brought down DS games from the boys room and the girls room I think there's still some in Eva's room um and put them onto the CD rack for now so the bookshelf is tidied but it's kind of thrown up some other questions i need i know there's some empty spaces on it but i've got loads of books in the dining in the lounge that i'd quite like to put on in here um because a lot some of the books in here aren't suitable yet for the twins they're a bit old for them but they will be so i hate i hate getting rid of books um I mean, there's some duplicate books which I'm going to put in the charity bag, some duplicate Minecraft books. I don't know why we've got so many that I'm going to put in the bag for the charity. But I like, you know, these are all books that have been read and will be read again. So um, my kind of goal is to get an extra bookcase so that we can organise them a bit better. Um, but for now, it looks much tidier than it did. And it's made a little bit more space in the boys' shelves and bringing the DS games down has as well. Although I've literally just gone and pulled them out. I haven't actually tied it up up there. Um, so far, we're only four DS games missing so far, but there is more games. Um, I'm bringing them all down here because none of them play their DSs anymore and they've all got their own games in their own rooms, but none of them play them. So um, 
and bring them down because the little ones might like to play them. But for some reason, we've got like, we've got five Tomodachi Life games. I don't know why we've got so many. And Elizabeth's got another one upstairs. So that's six. I don't remember having, why well, they always used to play on their game together. Um, but anyway, it might come a point where we get rid of some of the games. Um, but for now, because I'm pretty sure we don't need five. For now, I'm just, I'll cross that bridge another day. For now, I'm just bringing them downstairs. And so the next step will be to, um, obviously, I still need to do that unit and that unit. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a step in the right direction. I'm going to finish off upstairs after lunch um, and then come back in tomorrow and do a little bit more. It's a step in the right direction. It might not be finished. And I sometimes I get frustrated that I can't finish a job when you especially when you get into it and you're like i just want to be able to finish it but you can't because you've got other things that need doing obviously they'll need lunch and the little ones need looking after but it's a step in the right direction so um i will come in tomorrow and do a little bit more i think <laughs> okay so we've had lunch um and Flo's gone down for another nap. So I've just put some washing out. I thought I'd quickly just finish off up here in the boys' room. Because I literally had like two shelves left to finish. So not that it looks like it. But I've um this is the unit I want to replace this one. Um but I've managed to put the DS games downstairs. I've managed to get rid of some of the books that they didn't use anymore. So that's just the books that they do use the books that they do read um and this all still needs sorting out at some point but it's given them a little bit more space everything else in here is done now so i can take that off my list the only thing i hate dusting when it's sunny because it just looks like the dust just comes back again so when the sunshine comes in and you dust and you can just see all the dust in the air you kind of think what's the point but anyway, it's done. It's clean, it's tidy, it's kind of a... See? See? I dusted this yesterday. It's, it's dusty again. How are you supposed to keep it from being dusty? Sometimes I wonder. Um, so yeah, that's done. So next will be the other units in the dining room. And the bookcase in the lounge. Which I want to replace with a bigger one. Um... But I think we'll probably wait until we move to see what layout, because I'd quite like to have all the bookcases together. The only reason we've got one in the lounge, it was really somewhere to keep the little ones, tiny ones, books. Um, because obviously all the rest of them can go off to the dining room and get books, but the little ones won't. So unless obviously I go and get them some books, which I do, but sometimes it's nice for them to, to have them there and right in front of them. Um, but ideally, I'd either have all the bookshelves in the lounge um or in like a ideally it'd be in like a family area you know if you had like a kitchen diner kind of area with all the i'd have all the stuff like all the books and all the games and everything all together in one place but like i said it depends on where we go what space we've got um this house is very segmented so you've got like a dining room you've got a lounge you've got a kitchen so it's none of it is kind of it doesn't flow together so here you kind of it's well it's quite an old-fashioned house so it's um you know you're kind of stuck with that's got to fit in there and this has got to fit in there but if we had like a whole area then i'd have all of it kind of in one place so that um everybody can get to everything they want really within reason obviously so yeah um that's that finished i've got a few bits to do on the computer and and then it's it's nearly time to go and pick him up from school again it's like half past one and so i've only got an hour and a half until i go and pick him up from school and then it's the after school carnage you know back from unpacking bags and pack lunches and then i've got to cook tea we're having stir fry tonight um and i've got ironing to do as well this evening because i didn't get it all done on sunday because it's just too much and I couldn't be bothered so um yeah I'm going to go and do some bits on the computer and then we'll see what time it is then
okay guys so that's it that's my um my day for now well it's not my day for now i've got still got quite a lot to do but i'm finishing the video now um i've just got back in from the school run i'm in the bathroom because it's literally the only place with no people in it um everybody else there's people playing things and doing games and what have you so it's quieter in here I've still got my hat on because it's freezing outside and i'm still warming up um so yeah that's it i did get a little bit of time to sit down at the computer and do some stuff i needed i needed to order some more birthday presents <clears throat> plain which i've done um i need to do my cards like i was talking about this morning i haven't done that the days just honestly they just seem to just fly by and and then you think you'll get lots of things done and you know by the time you've done all the other things that you need to do and the washing and you know just general looking after children and things day's gone so i've got a few things done but anyway um so i'm gonna go and make some dinner um and then, like I said, I've got, you know, kids go to bed, iron in, etc., etc., etc. So, we, I'm going to, it's just horrible. It's just big paint bit in the middle. And this is our toothbrush list because everyone gets confused at the toothbrushes. So, we have to have a toothbrush list. Because um, you can only get them in a certain amount of colours. Right. So, that's it. Um, I'm going to do more sorting tomorrow. So, come back tomorrow to see some more sorting um but until then i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop us a like subscribe if you're not already subscribed and check out our link tree for all of our links to facebook instagram etc etc um our tiktok we still haven't got our tiktok back um just, just a bit of a nightmare to be honest Up. We will see you, or I will see you, in the next video. Bye!